Hey, I'm Lauren from tastypc.tv and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Corsair AX760i power supply. So I've already done a video on the AX1200i and this is just a really quick look at a lower watt version. So Corsair can be refreshing most of their power supply range, increasing the efficiency within each line and the AX series is now going to be split into two tiers. Um, the new AX, which is going to be 80 plus platinum efficiency rather than 80 plus gold efficiency, and the AXI series, which is going to be the same as the new AX, um, but you're also going to have the digital Corsair Link features. Um, and the AXI is also going to be available in 760, 860 and 1200 watt versions. So I'm going to start by taking you for a look at the box. Starting with the box, the AX760i has got the same sexy red packaging as the AX1200i. This is Corsair's first mid-range 80 plus platinum efficiency power supply. The old AX750 had 80 plus gold efficiency, so this power supply should be quieter and use less power in comparison. The AX760i is also digital, supporting Corsair Link, which allows you to monitor your power draw, efficiency, fan speeds, but also switch between single and multiple rails depending on what overcurrent protection you want. Um, so the AX760i is fully modular and comes with a 24 pin cable, two 12 volt CPU cables, six PCI 8 pin cables, which are six plus two, 12 SATA cables, eight Molex cables, and two floppy connectors. So then looking at the back of the box, this power supply comes with a seven year warranty. Um, and if I just zoom you in on the efficiency graph, you can see that this power supply is very efficient between 20 and 100% load and is most efficient around 40 to 70 percent load. Um, now what I'd personally recommend doing is working out how many watts your system uses the majority of the time and then getting a power supply that makes your um, system sit at peak efficiency at that watts. I wouldn't listen to people who say that you should max out your power supply but I also wouldn't recommend getting power supply that's too many watts for your, what your system needs um, because then you could be below 20 percent load and that's not going to be as efficient. Moving on to the fan noise graph, the power supply sta fan stays completely passive till 20% and then still stays reasonably quiet until nearly 100% load. Moving over to the output rating table, um, the plus 12 volt rail has got a massive 63.3 amps and 759.6 watts available. So now I'm going to show you what comes inside the box. In the box you get the modular cable pack, the warranty guide and user manual, the Corsair link download instructions, some cable ties, four mounting screws, a sexy powered by Corsair sticker and a double sided sticky pad for use with the Corsair link adapter and then finally the power supply itself. So inside the modular cable pack you get the power cable, the Corsair link adapter and this allows you to connect your power supply um, straight into a USB 2 header on your motherboard without having to have the full Corsair Link kit. Now I know this confused a lot of people with my AX1200i video, basically everything you need to control the power supply comes inside the box. So the SATA, Molex and floppy cables are all black um, and the 24 pin CPU and PCI cables are also black but are also black sleeved. Now I'm not going to worry about the cable length because it's not normally a problem. Looking at the power supply, it's 160mm long and it uses a 120mm fan. Now this fan can go up to quite a high RPM, um, but the power supply is very quiet out of the box. And the reason why Corsair have used such a powerful fan is that you can use the Corsair Link software to override the fan's profile and from there increase the speed of the fan and then use it as a case exhaust. So the AX760i looks very physically similar to the AX750, except it's got red lettering. Um, here we've got the on off switch and the power connector. We've got the same output table as on the bottom of the box. And we've also you can also see where you plug in the modular cables. So here we've got a COM port um, and this allows you to plug the power supply into the Corsair Link USB adapter that comes with the power supply or straight into the full Corsair Link kit. You've also got a self test button um, and then if the LED turns green then you know everything is like running okay. So that was my overview of the AX760i power supply. If you want to see some footage of the Corsair Link software, I cover it in more detail in my AX1200i power supply overview video, and I'll put the link to that in the description below. 
What I'd personally like to see is lower watt versions of the AXI series come out, maybe a 460 watt version, a 560 watt version, because I know that around 500 watts is starting to become the sweet spot for gaming rigs, um, especially as if a power supply is less than 20% load, you start to lose efficiency. 760 watts may be too much for most gamers, um, as something like an i5-3570K and a GTX 660 uses significantly less than 500 watts. But if you like this video, hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching!